Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Gina and I make videos about houseplants and houseplant related content. And I make new videos every week. And thanks for joining me here today. So in today's video, we're going to do something which I think is fun. This is my favorite type of videos to watch, plant videos to watch are those that are just like what I call fluff, like mindless fluff. I just like to, after a long day, I want to sit down and just watch, look at, watch videos of plants, just pretty plants and not have to make my brain work. I just have to look at pretty, pretty plants. And so that's what this video is today. And specifically, this video is five Hoyas that I am really enjoying lately. So are any of you like me where you just want to sit down and you don't really necessarily want to learn something? Um, but I mean, it's always a bonus if you learn something while you're watching. But you just, just, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just like sitting down and just watching videos of pretty plants. And so, yeah. I was just curious if any, any of you feel the same as I do like that. Um, it also helps me to gauge like what kind of videos you guys will like watching. Um, so, yeah. Anyways. So, this is five Hoyas that I am really enjoying lately and I'm really excited to show you guys these plants. Okay, so the first one and these are in no particular order. I'm just grabbing them as I grab them. So this first one is the Hoya Polyneura Elbow Marginata and I mean, I think it's probably obvious why I am enjoying this plant because it has, it is just growing so much for me. It's putting out new leaves and it's just beautiful. I just love this plant. It's just, I just love it. I know I've showed it to you a few times in recent weeks. Um, I'm just, I'm enamored with this plant. And so it has two, so when I first got it, it was just these two these two original leaves and then a shot out and I know it's hard to see but a shout out two stems here and so far I have on each stem I have four new leaves and I am just thoroughly enjoying watching this plant grow and excited that it's not dying um, I used to have a Hoya polyneura that was not the variegated. It was just the plain and that one died on me. It just, I have no, well, I think what might have happened was it was in too bright of lighting. And from what I've read, these prefer lower lighting. Um, I mean, not low lighting, but they just like, I think my original polyneura even got some direct sunlight in the morning and another thing is my original polyneura was it was planted in soil and this one I have in pond and look at those roots so I, I think the the I think having it in pond is making a difference I think this one likes to stay wet. It likes to be on the wet side, um, but still have lots of aeration for those roots. And I think just being in this pond is the best case scenario for this particular plant. So I should try a regular poly polyneura at some point just to see if it gives me issues, but I don't think I would grow this plant in anything but a semi-hydro semi situation like this. And I've never tried LECA, so my only experience is with pond. And yeah, I just, I'm super enjoying this plant right now. Super enjoying this plant, very much so. And 
I wanted to share it with you guys. So pretty. So that's the first one. Okay, so my next one. Number two, Hoya Angleriana. And this plant is so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. I just love this plant. Um, I, I don't know. I just, it's just, I love its growth pattern. I love how, how nicely it's growing. Um, it's doing, it's just doing beautifully. It has these beautiful dark green leaves, these little dark green leaves and these long, just these long stems and really a, a, it reminds me a lot of like the Qinghong Gensis, um, just like its growth pattern, small leaf, long, long stems and, and also like a Hoya Bella, very similar. Um, I just love these. I love this. This might be, I think this might be my favorite style of Hoya. Just these long stems like this, small leaves on long stems. And I love that I have, well, I, I showed you guys before, I have some Bellas, little babies, tiny little baby Bellas, um, variegated ones. Yeah, just variegated, um, like inside and outside variegation. And I can't wait till, I don't know, you know, I had a Hoya Bella before and I don't remember it being quite this like fun and silly. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's been a while since I had the Hoya Bella and I got rid of my Hoya Bella because I got spider mites, which I know they are known for getting spider mites. And I just, I was in my, the point in my, plant hobby, my plant hobby career, where instead of just trying to fix the problem, I would throw the problem away. I was bad. Um, but yeah, so I got rid of my Hoya Bella. But so this is Hoya Angleriana. I love it. It's fun. This is another one that is in pawn. And it's not easy to get out of there, so I'm not going to get it out of there. But trust me, it's in pawn, and it loves it in that. So, Hoya Angleriana. Just really enjoying this plant. And it lives in my office here with me, and just love it. It's fun. It's a fun one. Okay, so number three, number three hangs here in my office, right up here. Where is it? I can't see. Oh, right here. And this is Hoya Pandorata. So this is a fairly new plant to me. And when I got it, it actually came, I think it came with this hanger. Pretty sure it did. And I love this hanger so much. And I found them on Amazon later. I looked, I searched, and I found it. So if you're interested in this cute little hanger like this, I'll link, I'll link these, these pots in the description for you guys. But so now look at this. Look at this right there. It is blooming. It's got a cute little yellow flower. So that kind of adds to my why I'm really enjoying this plant so much. I just love, I love the way it hangs here. It hangs from my Hoya Colina pot and it just looks so cute. And this one, this plant is so easy for me to remember the name of it. A lot of times I have troubles like if it's a more obscure Hoya, like I don't think too many people are familiar with the Hoya Pandorata, but the reason I'm able to remember the name so easily is because it has the word panda in the name, Pandorata. I mean, it's not spelled panda-rata, but it's just, 
And the reason I remember that panda is because the way this plant grows, it looks like bamboo. And if you know anything about pandas, they love to eat bamboo. And so that's how I remember. I think, I look at this and I think, oh, it looks like bamboo. And then I think of pandas and then I remember panderata. But I love its little yellow flower. I think it's so cute. And I just love its growth pattern. And I'm a big fan. And I'm really enjoying this Hoya. So that's number three, Hoya Panderata. All right, so on to number four. And this is an interesting one. So this is the Hoya Patella Pink. And this one, this one has been, this one was a kind of a struggle plant for me in the beginning. So I've had this Hoya Patella Pink for like two years, I think. It's probably been two years, maybe three years now. I don't know, it's been, it's been a while. And it did absolutely nothing for me. It was, it didn't grow. It was, it came to me with, so here's an original leaf these, this one, this one, and this one. And I think that was it. I think it was just these here, these down here. So, so it sat, I think it sat in like, it sat in this room for like two years. And so finally, after I got my grow tent, I took it down to the grow tent because I remembered reading that it likes a high humidity and I thought, well, you know what? I, I, didn't, I didn't know if this thing was dead. It just was, I mean, just the way it feels, it's very stiff. It's, it's like not supple, it's just hard, hard and it's stiff. And, um, but it's green, so I figured, well, it must still be alive, but I don't know. So anyway, I stuck it in my grow tent and all of this, like all of this here is new just in, since I got my grow tent and I don't even, when did I get my grow tent? I got it this year. So it's only been a couple months, a few months that this has done this. And what's really exciting is I almost have gotten this one to bloom I have peduncles, there is a peduncle, and it looked like, that's right, right there. It had little buds and it looked like it was gonna bloom and then those little buds dried up. So I don't know why, maybe it, it didn't, it, it got too dry possibly. I think that's typically what causes those buds to fall off, but, but anyway, it, when I know, I know I'm going to be able to get this one to bloom and I'm super excited about it. And I'll put a picture up here of what, what this looks like when it blooms. It's just incredible. It's so, I think it's, it's like a single, one single pink bloom giant. They're like big blooms and they're just incredible. So I'm super excited about this plant and I'm really enjoying this plant. And it's just, I love it. And I love how, I know you probably, you can't see it, but maybe you can see it a little bit. It's a fuzzy leaf, it has fuzzy leaves. And when they come in, they're kind of like this pinky color. And we've got new leaves coming up, coming out up here. And I just, I'm loving it. Unfortunately, this is probably going to always have to live in my grow tent which is okay. I mean, I'm in my grow tent every single day, so it's not like I'm not going to see it every single day. And I have, Lord knows, I have tons of plants up here for me to enjoy. So, so yeah, it's fine. It's fine living in the grow tent. And it was like the vine was like grabbing onto my, my 
plant racks in there and I know I could like let it go and it would like vine everywhere so you know that's an idea eventually I need to maybe once I get into a bigger pot a pot that I know that it will be living in long term that I can just I can let it start like growing around the grow tent just kind of being wild and free so but yeah so I'm super enjoying this plant this is Hoya patella pink and it's pink because the flowers are pink and I'm just I just love it all right so we have one left number five number five on my list is the Hoya Kenegiana Kenegiana variegated and this is a really cool plant and I've never showed this to you guys I don't think I think this is one I haven't showed you yet although I have had this plant for maybe two months now and I love it so this one you know it has a similar pattern to like the Hoya Crimson Princess you know it has the inner variegation like that but of course it is different you can see the leaves there they kind of have like a twist in the leaves which is really cool and so when I first got this plant I was a little bit worried about it because this is an expensive plant it is not a cheap plant and I'll tell you what I paid for it I'm kind of embarrassed to say what I paid for it but I paid $120 for this plant and if you go on Etsy you'll see that that's pretty much that's what they go for I just looked last night because I was I looked up to see what I paid for this plant and I was looking to see what else was available and there's not much so this is kind of a rare plant here and so I was nervous about it and I repotted it and I took it out of the original pot it was in and when I looked at the roots they weren't great the roots were not great so I was like oh geez so I repotted it in my own little mix here and I stuck it in my grow tent so it came with this leaf this leaf and I believe this leaf yeah I think it was these three leaves and then there's one little like tiny one down here so it came with those and after I repotted it and put it in my grow tent it shot out it finally shot out it's like had like a recent growth spurt these are the two newest leaves these big ones beautiful but yeah so I am I'm just loving it I'm enjoying this one so much it still is living in my grow tent currently in my grow tent and I'm sure I could take it out of the grow tent but I don't know I'm not ready yet I'm not ready I want to let it I want to let it get more leaves and then I'll bring it up here maybe maybe I don't know my shelves up here are pretty full so I'm not even sure where I would put it but I don't know it's doing fine in my grow tent for now so that's where it's gonna stay so that's Hoya Kenegiana variegated it's got these cool twisty leaves and I love it so those have been five Hoyas that I am really enjoying lately and um, let me know in the comments which which Hoyas you're really enjoying at the moment and um, we can talk about it so I guess that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed this sort of fluff video don't have to use your brain but then maybe you did learn something maybe you learned a new plant you didn't know about or maybe like some little care tips for that plant 
But yeah, these, like I said, these are my favorite type of videos to do for you guys. So I really hope you do enjoy them. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I make videos twice a week and I'd love to have you as part of this community. We have a lot of fun here. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.